everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all i almost didn't even film this video because it is kind of embarrassing but i said i was and somebody may remember probably not but i tried to be you know a woman of my word and so today I'm going to be giving an update on my, well, the finale of my uh, makeup project pan. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. You can check it out. So y'all, I didn't even bring all the makeup out here because I didn't really use it. Jasmine, girl, you have to show, tell me how you be using up your stuff. Because the makeup, I cannot get through makeup. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. So, I had quite a few palettes in there. I finished. I'm just going to show you what I finished and then we'll go from there, okay? And what I finished is in this um, little philosophy travel bag that I got for free with some order. So, the first thing I finished up is this Sonia Kashuk um, Ion Neutral Palette. And someone told me that Sonia Kashuk doesn't even make makeup anymore. That's how old it is. So I finished this up and it's looking rough, honey. And I also finished this Hourglass blush. I don't know why I'm showing you this packaging. And it's in Mood Exposure. And it was a plummy, purpley, mauve, pink, pinky color. I would want this again because I don't have a blush that gives me this exact color. So I would repurchase that. The next items that were on my, in my project pan, it was this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And what was the color I had to send? Light Medium Sand. So this is finished. I'm not where I've, I've used all I could get out of it. See, nothing comes out on the doe foot applicator. I know it's stuff around here, but it's hard to do. And I said it was empty. Now this is a concealer that was very drying um i did like the coverage it gave me but it was i just it was very drying and it creased isn't this is supposed to be in this a creaseless concealer or something i can't remember but i i haven't found any concealer that just doesn't crease it's just some crease less than others and this is one that was so drying that I'm not really interested in getting it again, but I did like the coverage. And I was watching Jasmine Bullard, and she was mentioning the concealer I'm using now, which is the NYX like, Serum Concealer, that she'll put that on first and then a heavy-duty concealer. I don't know. I feel like I would look a hot mess under my eyes if I did that because I do tend to crease no matter what I do, and I don't tr I'm kind of scared to use a double concealer. So I don't know. This is, a, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it again, but I know it's not on my list to repurchase anytime soon. Not at all. The other concealer that I finished is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic um, Concealer. Now, I do like these uh, NYX concealers. I think they still make them. I don't know. I think they do. I would repurchase this again, but this color was too light for me. This was CW05. If I got the right color, I would, and I do like this concealer. I can see myself saying, oh, I don't feel like spending, you know, uh, the price for a high-end concealer and then giving this a try. So, yeah, I would repurchase that one. Um, this lip liner from Victoria's Secret, y'all no color even comes off of it when i try to use it so this i'm just throwing away but that was a great eye, a lip liner is in foxy brown i love this lip liner but i let it sit too long i finished the uh, oh i sure didn't this is the perversion urban decay black eyeliner pencil nothing would come off on this either but i did use most of this up i used about half of this up and so those both have to be thrown away and the rest are mascaras that i finished up so i used the mac upward lash mascara um no 
It didn't make it didn't even stand out. I can't remember how it did. I finished this Too Faced um, mascara. Love the packaging, but it wasn't anything special. I finished the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I've gone through I don't know how many sample sizes of these because at one point you were I was getting them a lot for free. I've gone through a couple full size. I don't like this mascara. I don't like it. I finished this Pat McGrath Labs um, Fetish Eyes Mascara. This I can't. This wasn't anything special to me either. And last but not least, I also finished the YSL um, Volume Faux Seals Mascara. I've used this before, and I do like this mascara. But I don't want to pay the prices for that. I found a mascara for under five dollars that. It's superb so I can't see myself just paying you know upwards of 30 some dollars for a mascara anymore I used to do that because I couldn't find any drugstore mascaras that I felt like did a thing for my lashes but with this little combo and the benefit um, mascara I like what is it called roller lash or something I really like that mascara it's a couple I'm interested in trying but none over $30, I can tell you that much. It would have to really, really get great reviews and, and really catch my attention for me to spend that much money on a mascara anymore. All right, y'all, so that was all the makeup I used up. Now, I'm just gonna roll all that. I don't even, I don't think I'm gonna do a project pan makeup wise because obviously it didn't work for me. I mean, I finished up this, some of the stuff I had on there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do another makeup project pan work, filming it. I'm going to still work on using up some makeup, but I just don't know. Y'all let me know if you would even be interested in seeing that because I'm going to try. To, I'm going to keep those same products. I'm not adding any products. I'm going to keep the same products that I had in the for 2022 going into 2023 with the makeup. And I'm just going to see where I end up. So I might, if I like really get to going and really doing a good job, I'll update you. But that's not going to be something I'm going to focus on because obviously I suck at it. <laughs> I'm like, girl. Oh, but anywho, let's move on. I also wanted to show you um, a few items that I have hauled. This is a collective haul, and it's not big. So I'm just going to get started. Um, the first items I'm going to show you are from Amazon. It was time for me to restock on my tongue cleansers, and I get two packs for 10 bucks from Amazon. So I picked that up. Also, the, the notebook journal I use to write down all my ideas for my videos and, you know, my notes when I'm preparing for my videos. I only have like three pages left, so it's, it was time to get a new journal. And I saw this on Amazon and I was like, oh my goodness, that is so cute. And I wouldn't mind if, you know, what it has on here is true since I'm using this for my YouTube channel. <laughs> And this says, her ideas are pure gold. And this is a gold journal. So this is going to be what I use to plan out my videos for 2023. And that was, no, it's all from Amazon. So I was watching Jasmine Bullard. And in her, I think it was her favorites video, she mentioned an electric spin scrubber to clean your tub. And I went, what you say now? Because... Woo, I hate cleaning the tub, okay? I'd rather clean the toilet. I hate cleaning the tub because you got to bend all down. You got to get all in there, do the wall. It is exhausting. I hate cleaning the tub. 
So when she said that, I went, girl, you ain't said nothing but a word to me. I'm about to get that. So I, I don't know which exact one she got, but they had this one on sale for $35 on Amazon. It was normally $60-some. It was very highly rated, almost five stars. It was black. So I got it, y'all. So I'm going to use this, and I will get back to you all and let you know if I fell in love with it because, woohoo! I am so excited. If I hope it's I love it. I really do. Because I can't stand cleaning the tub. Your back be hurting. I can't stand if if I didn't say it enough, I can't stand cleaning the tub. <laughs> okay, so that was all from Amazon. So next, this are the few items I picked up from Sephora when they did the one time, you know, 20% off coupon you could use. Y'all let me know, do you prefer the 20% off coupon or do you miss the $25 um, off of 75 or the way they used to break it down, you know, back in the day? Cause you didn't used to get two 20% off coupons. I can't decide, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy to get any discount. So some of these items you probably have seen in my top 22 items for the year 2022. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. Check it out because I've been using these. I've had them for a few weeks and I thought I kept the boxes so, you know, I could, you know, be all professional with it. But I can't find the boxes to these two items, you all. And it's going to buy this filming room is a mess because I have filmed so many videos. I don't even know how many videos I have filmed and I'm getting ready to go back to work and I need to film a few more um, so I can be on schedule. And I'm like, oh, I got just so much to do and it's never enough time to do it. But, you know, we'll get it done. But I'm just looking around this room saying, I wonder if is the box in here somewhere because this room is a hot mess, a hot mess that I have to clean up. Okay, so I did pick up, I mentioned in that video that I wanted to try a skin tint because I am not a fan of foundation so i decided to pick up the iconic london super smoother blurring skin tint and so far i'm loving this i am loving it um i'm not going to go into too much detail here because i went into detail in that video but i love it and this also i picked up this is the iconic london radiance booster and this is also like a tint, a glowy tint for your skin that you can wear alone. This is what I have on today because it's just, this is one you just shake up, pump, put over your face and keep going. With this iconic one, I have to do a little bit of more blending. And so I just went for this today because I have a lot going on. Let me tell y'all, side note, my car, I went out to go to the store and my car wouldn't start. Now, about two weeks ago, I was getting ready to go to work and my car wouldn't start. And I called my older brother and he came over and he was like, I think I fixed it. And then I got in the car today and it didn't start. And I was like, um, I need you to come on back because <laughs> I go to work in three days and my car is started. I mean, I thought you said it was fixed, bro. <laughs> so it turns out, I needed to, I needed a new battery. And I've had that car for seven years and I've never had to purchase anything for that car except some tires and you know, windshield wipers, but nothing. I was like, I think it's a battery because I feel like it's about time, you know, that I haven't had to buy anything for this car. So I was so happy. The guy at Firestone was laughing at me because I was like, please, please. Please be the battery because when they go test it and when he came out and he said it's yeah the battery is bad I was like yes in the middle of Firestone because the battery is cheaper than if it was an alternator because it was going to be one or the other and I was like give me the battery any day. So I have just had a busy day today okay and I, I'm, I just I did not feel like putting on. I don't know. I get lazy with makeup, as you can see from how little I finish in a year. So moving on, I also picked up 
this Amand uh, L'Occitane Milk Concentrate Body Butter. I really like this. It, I like the way it smells. I like the way it feels on my skin. It's expensive. That's why I, when I saw the 20% off, I said, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I really do like it, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. And lastly, that I picked up from Sephora during the, that little 20% off coupon they gave us, I picked up the Tom Ford Soleil Nage Shimmering Body Oil. Now, let me tell y'all why I picked this one up. I thought this one had silver glitter, and I think it does, but I don't know. It kind of changes a little bit. It feels like, is there a mixture of silver and gold in there? I can't tell, but that's why I picked this one up because I don't have any silver unless I use a uh, glotion and y'all know how I feel about glotions. This smells really good. This made me want to get this perfume and y'all Tom Ford is too doggone high uh, for his perfume for what it is because most people I hear that review Tom Ford perfumes, they keep saying they don't last. So when I pay triple digits, I need you to last, okay? I need you to last. Now, you don't have to last 12 hours, but you're going to have to last a decent amount of time for that amount of money. So I don't know, but that smells really good to me. It's fresh. Fem it's like unisex fresh. I don't know. It's very unique smelling. I really like that. Okay, so next let's go to Macy's. So I have some rewards, reward money that I needed to spend at Macy's. And so again, I was watching Jasmine Bullard and she was just raving about this face powder. And I had it on my list at Sephora. I didn't want to get it then. But when I had that money at Macy's, I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And that's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Ultra Blur. So I'm gonna, I can't wait to try this powder out. I cannot wait to try it out as like a face setting powder or even just try to wear it on its own some days when I just don't feel like doing much and see how it works. So I'm excited about that. I also picked up another Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the color Coconut. So let's see. The ones that were on my list, this is one that was in stock that looks like just a nice nudie color, nudie brown color. So I'm excited to try this color out because I already know I love these um, Maracuja Juicy Lips. The last thing I got at Macy's, I mentioned in that video that I have been getting back into using beauty blenders. Now I had one, I had two that were thrown in my drawer from forever ago. And one of them, I said, it looked like something trying to grow on that. So I threw that away. And this other one's just beat up looking. And I said, I'm getting me a new beauty blender. But I was trying, you know, you know how I am. I'm trying to wait for a deal. Some kind of discount. So I saw this on sale at Macy's. And I said, oh my goodness, that is so me. It's pink and purple. Oh my goodness. This is a beauty blender set with two beauty blenders. A little pretty stand that I can put on my vanity. And I think they have a little travel size uh, soap cleanser. So I was like, this is too cute. I have to get it. And it was on sale, so I'm happy with that. Now that's everything from Macy's. So the last place is Ulta. I'm going to start with this because I've mentioned that this in that video also. This is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour full wear concealer. This is a good concealer. I, I need to get the darker color up from this. I think I am. Ugh to mix and try to get the perfect color. Um, so yes, but I do love this concealer. It gives great coverage. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy or anything. I'm kind of curious to see how this would look under my eyes. I might try that one day. It seems kind of heavy for under your eyes. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna try because I'm curious. I'm curious to see how it will look. But I do like it to cover up the dark spots on my face, especially my chin. That's where I use, That's what I purchased it for. Okay, well, I also picked up this set from Briogeo. This is the Strength 
plus repair solution set. And it comes with a full size shampoo, a full size conditioner. It comes with a deluxe size strengthening treatment oil. It comes with a deluxe size sample of the deep conditioning mask. And it comes with a deluxe size sample of the my favorite protein treatment, the Mega Strength plus rice water strengthening treatment. So I picked this up. I was waiting for the sale at Sephora because I needed to get a certain amount of points, you know, to be whatever I am. I think I'm diamond. Or is what's the up? I'm finally the one that's pat the, the top level at Ulta. I've been trying to get that for years and I finally got it. So whichever that one is, I reached it and with this last order. And so that's why I wanted to, I wanted to pick this up during the Sephora sale, but I said I'm gonna wait and say some things I can get at Ulta to reach that status. And then I take a break from these places because then you got to start working on getting your you know status for the next year. So usually I wait for like a sale and then I start slowly trying to get my points up or as I run out of stuff. But this is usually the time, usually, that I take a good break from Sephora and Ulta. More so Sephora because Ulta sometimes has deals on, you know, more affordable items that I can still, you know, I'm not spending too much money. Whereas Sephora, most of the time, you spend a lot of money no matter what. Okay, last but certainly not least for this haul, I picked up, people were asking me if I was going to review these perfumes. So I just, I saw this set on Ulta and I decided to get it. And this is the Mod Perfume by Ariana Grande. It's Mod Vanilla and Mod Blush. And they come in these bottles. And these are both one fluid ounce. So, of course, you know, a video will be coming with uh, me reviewing these perfumes. I don't know when, but it will come, you all, eventually. So yeah, y'all, that was my little pathetic update for my uh, makeup project pan and my little haul, little collective haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, what do y'all think of project pan? How do y'all be using your makeup up? Because I'm not good at that. I I'm not. Because I'm not someone that wears makeup every single day. I'm not someone that uses a ton of makeup when I use my makeup. And that's why I plan to really go through my collection and pare it down. But, you know, I still have to purchase some makeup, but I just don't use it up quickly. So any suggestions, please leave them down below. Please share this video with everyone who just, just share the video, y'all. We're trying to get to 10K ASAP so we can have a giveaway, okay? And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.